Today is Saturday, December 7th. Uh, it's sunny and 38 degrees outside. I had originally planned to make a video of transplanting the rest of my bok choy out into the cloche and picking some more lettuce and a couple of other garden related things, but I ended up doing car repairs today because in the hierarchy of needs, the, uh, the dependability of your automobile ranks a lot higher than a few dollars worth of lettuce. But I did want to make a video today, so instead of working in the garden, I'm just going to tell you a story. My parents were born in the depths of the Great Depression in the mid-1930s, and that uh, had a lot of influence on how they grew up. But something happened when they were a few years old. I think my dad was seven the time and my mom was four and that was the Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941 and the, in, the uh, entry of the United States into World War II. My parents never forgot the hardships of World War II, uh, the suspension of the production of automobiles and rationing of gasoline the scrap metal and rubber uh, collection days. There were blackout drills and my grandfather used to walk the neighborhoods to make sure everyone's lights were extinguished so that if the German bombers came along the eastern seaboard to bomb US cities that with the lights out the targets would be harder to see and my mother still remembers hiding in the basement during the air raid drills, wondering as a six-year-old whether the bombs were actually going to fall. Of course, they never did in the United States. But she still remembers that to this day. And there was one other thing that uh, she remembers, and that was the call for everyone to plant a garden. We were going to be sending a lot of food to Europe to feed the troops and the allies and that meant shortages of food at home so they wanted people, citizens, to uh, start growing food at home to supplement what they had and if you've prowled around on YouTube you may have actually seen the original movie Victory Garden uh, the movie that uh, the TV series, the idea for the TV series came from, I guess. And inside I have a book called Gardens for Defense. It was printed during the war and it had instructions. It's a big book, like 200 pages or so. And it had instructions for people to grow their own food at home during the war to help with the war effort. I'll see if I can find that inside. I hope you all like the toolbox. Uh, the point of all that is my parents, they lived a frugal life. And they learned to depend on themselves. They never grew all their own food, and I don't expect to either. But they did live modestly even when they didn't have to and uh, I think that had a big influence on me and I think that's a big reason why I still garden today.
And just in case you were wondering, no, I didn't hit the other car. <laughs>